A swift kick in the year end, starring Bob Robertson and Linda Cullen. Time to give the boots to 1994. Bye bye. Bye, everybody. To Rob for now. Bye bye. Hello. See your boarding pass, ma'am. Welcome aboard, ma'am. Can't have a boarding pass. Oh, uh, we'll have to put you in row 74 in the middle. Oh, not again. So, Mr. Premier, if you drink the liquid contained in these bottles, it will lower your resistance to separation. I think all Quebecers should get one. Yes, send that one to Gretchen. I'd like to sing a song for you now. <coughs> Listen, everybody. And now the end is near, and so I face the final curtain, Scooby. My friends, I say it clear. I blame it all on Bill Van Zandt. Thank you. Pass the plate, please. Hi, I'm Bob Robertson. And I'm Linda Collins. Weren't you just so excited about the news events in 1994? Nah. nah. That's why we put together a swift kick in the year end, the only appropriate way to say goodbye to 1994. Now, it wasn't a great year for everybody. For mm. example, certain NDPers in Nanaimo. Oh, where did that name come from, anyway? Nanaimo? Yeah. Oh, it's an old Indian word meaning land where the bingo is crooked. Ah, I see. Well, 1994 was kind of a weird year. For example, Yasser Arafat won the Nobel Peace Prize. Mm. Well, I mean, that's like giving the Nobel Peace Prize to Yasser Arafat. Yeah. I mean, Slap me, silly, and call me a cab. Okay. Uh, well, I guess we're ready to kiss 1994 goodbye, but I think we should start our swift kick in the year end off with a knock-knock joke. Huh? Okay. All right. Knock-knock. Who's there? Uh, hello. And what was your name again? Uh, Grace McCarthy. Oh, yes, you're, uh, you're the one. Yeah. Step down is so cred leader. Yeah, well, uh, that's too bad. I, I felt really bad. Yeah, well, I'm out of work now, and I wondered if I could oh, get a yeah. job. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. Maybe yeah. Yeah. cleaning your house or organizing your closets or something like that. Or, or organizing. Oh, no. Oh, well, Kim Campbell does that for us. Oh, okay. Well, oh, for us. Well, thanks very much. Uh, I'll kill that Bill Vanderzan. Okay, come on, Jeffrey. Here we go again. Oh, 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 oh. Anyone else need any work done on this street? Uh, cutting grass or anything like that? Yeah, those are the oh, Okay, thanks a lot. Oh. Bloody hell. Since we sold the Britannia, this is how I've got to travel in some bloody nuisance. Get your feet wet, uh, or you could even step in something. You know? uh, he stepped in something, eh? Uh, and uh, this is the carving we did of your wife. Uh, I think we got Kenny. the teeth uh, just about right. Mm. Uh, looks a lot like her, I mm. think. And the good news is, the British Crown's going to pay for all the land claims because they took it from us. So, Mr. Uh, your uh, Philip, uh, the money? Right. Um, no. Where's my... Um, American Express. Okay, Mr. Robinson, you make sure you just stay away from those logging protests from now on. Oh, not if there's TV cameras. Well, I mean, isn't your Andy Warhol 15 minutes just about up? Oh. Here, let me get those handcuffs off you. Oh, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Uh, oh, gosh, look, cameras. Uh, Mr. Robinson, what was it like in jail? Well, um, let me tell you. Oh, here, let me give you my better side. Oh, okay. Well, it's spelled like brute, and, um, they made you stand with your arms out like this to go to the washroom. Hey, uh, we all heard that you got a tattoo. Uh, oh, what about it? It's a tree stump. Uh, it was a, a tattooed on my left cheek. Uh, it was very attractive, really. A rump stump, it was called. And, um... Well, let's have a look at it. Come on. Let's have a oh, look. Oh, I'd rather not display it. Um, come on, come on. I'm sure you see it uh, all the time on uh, ex-cons like me. Oh, come on. Please, uh, just, just one shot. Come on, let's have a look. Drop your drawers. Uh... Okay, okay. Who is this guy? Prime Minister, I'm Mike Harcourt, yeah. the Premier of British yeah. Columbia. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I believe you're the Premier. That's a No, really, I, I a don't believe you. Why are What's you following ball? me? Uh, and then I don't know what happened. It was incredible. I won the election. And I said, gee, nobody even told me I, I'd been nominated. So that's that. So now I'm just uh, trying to get myself uh, out of this mess because uh, I don't even know what I'm doing here. What am I doing? I don't know. But, uh, is it, uh, uh, is it, to, uh, where am I? We had a little fun today. We glued Ralph's lips together. A <laughs> bunch of us got together, you see, and we went over and uh, we grabbed Ralph and we did it because how many times could we actually stand it? Having Ralph ask us all the time, have the bar open during 
panel session. Hey, Premier Johnson, did mm -hmm. you hear that they glued Ralph's lips together, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, use crazy glue on the lips. Oh. Huh? I've never seen anything like it. I voted to glue his legs together. Now, let me try my French on you. Au revoir. Uh, make now vous avez le choix. And also, a uh, 1-800-LA-PARTY. How's that, huh? <laughs> I'm pressing... Your blinds open. Huh? Major Luck. Monsieur Manning, um, je m'appelle Gladys et je crois que vous êtes coucou parce que je, moi, je peux pas faire Monsieur Chrétien. <laughs> okay, be right back. You know, politicians just haven't lost their ability to be space cadets, Linda. No, no, and I think they could have used a couple of those up in the Hubble telescope in 1994. Yeah. And using the telescope, scientists found a gigantic black hole in space. And Ooh. you know what was inside that black hole, Bob? Uh, Ten million Atlantic cod, two and a half million West Coast salmon, and the Liberals' referendum strategy. Wow. <laughs> hey, the hottest selling Canadian book in 1994? What was that? Easy. Stevie Cameron's book saying Brian Mulroney ripped off Canadians. I don't believe it. Oh, yes. And you know that book sells for over $30. Mm. So Brian Mulroney wasn't the only one ripping off Canadians. No, and Stevie Cameron wasn't the only one peddling something. Yeah. I saw this bike in the shop. I like hey, this. You know, people, I'm huh? going to hey, take it for hey. a ride. No, Look no, out, you. everybody. Oh, ah, come oh. on with the bike. Hey, what are you both on? Hey, you know people. Come on. You can't catch me. Ha, ha. Oh, oh boy, oh, born oh, to be oh, wild. Get off, fight, okay? Come born on, to be no, no. Get off, fight. Come on, please. Oh. I keep coming your way. Stop, hang over that bike. Well, I don't think so. Get me that bike. Come on, give you me. You will have to catch me first. Oh, eh? No, not again. Come back. Oh boy, this is fun. If you want China to trade with Canada, you give us that bike back. Okay. You like the music? Mm -hmm. Mostly I like to watch Mr. Yeltsin. <laughs> Conductor Orchestra. <laughs> macho, macho man. I want to be a macho man. Macho, macho man. I want to be a macho man. Macho, macho man. I want to be Macho man, macho, macho man. I want to be a macho man. Big hand for Boris Yeltsin, macho man. Hey. Please welcome our next contestant on Name That Tune. Now hopefully our next contestant can tell me the name of this song, which is very well known. It's a song about kickbacks and highways and bingo, and he should know it. Uh, how about it, Mr. Clark? Uh, well, let's see. Uh, perhaps it's that old uh, Led Zeppelin song that we loved in high school, uh, Highway to Heaven. Remember, they used to play it last at the sock hops. Uh, let me see if I can uh, perform it for you here. They're buying a highway to put there, so the unions will vote for us after they're done. It's a highway to heaven. Tra-la. Stairway to heaven? Yeah. Listen, he's awfully close. So yeah. Give him another try. Okay. Thanks for giving me another chance to score some points. I think the song that I was thinking of was a different song called Highway to Love. Uh, we love the unions. Highway to love. Tra-la. No, no, that's Freeway of Love. Ten points goes to Linda Reed. Miss Reed, how do you feel about winning the Name That Tune game? <laughs> I think I did a pretty good job today. I mean, Glenn should have known that song. It was easy. Snowbar Cod left to fish in Atlantic Canada, so uh, we started a singing group called the Three Amigos. We're good. Oh, yeah, it's all singing out. Was this your idea, Premier Wells? No way. Well, what about you, Mr. Harcourt? Do you know what's going on? Yeah. Well, Commander Kretchen. Just leave the strap, okay? We're ready to start the attack on the deficit. Mm -hmm. I want to introduce her to the head of Operation Downsize, uh, general reduction and uh, major cutbacks. Uh, we, we will uh, blow up the deficit, yeah. That'll be a blast. Uh-huh, yeah. 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 Is he really in charge of attacking the deficit? Step this way, sir, and uh, we'll mm -hmm. give you a really good view of the deficit. I uh, guess it's big, eh? Oh, yes, it's huge and it's frightening. So up you go. Is it safe? Oh, of course it's safe. Just keep your head down there and no problem and just step into the observation post and we'll give you a good view of the main battleground for the deficit, Chop Chop Hill. 
just uh, look through there, put a quarter in it, actually, and you'll get a real good view of uh, Chop Chop Hill. Is that Chop Chop Hill there? Uh, no, that's it over there, actually. Uh, and that's uh, what we use for spying on GST cheaters. Just have a look through that there. Mm -hmm. By the way, I wonder if you could help me remove a bullet from my shoulder here. No problem. I uh, do it for Trudeau all the time. You know, it's very, uh, very easy. And there we go, okay? Oh, huh? that, that, that feels much better, sir. Thank you very much. Boy, oh boy, I'm tired from all this deficit fighting, and it makes me need to use the facility. Right, you know, right you over here, sir, right over here. This is the man who guards the outhouse, Private Latrine. Nice to meet you. I have to go very, very badly, so uh, here I go. Go with him, Corporal. Whoa, it's dark in here. Uh, yeah, uh, be really careful where you sit. Uh, Why? <laughs> Boris, you feel like a whopper? Two. Well, uh, what do you want to have with that uh, to drink? Is it uh, time for a milkshake? Uh... No. Alcohol. The problem with me is, you see, I'm crazy in the head. Stupid like that, you know? Oh, yeah, well, look who's here. Marty McSorley, spoiled millionaire hockey player. Mm -hmm. Mr. Bevan, you better not say those things about us guys. So uh, otherwise, uh, me and Chris Chelios and some other guys will uh, come over to your uh, house, you know, and... Uh, Break your face. Oh, yeah, well, you better not try it, you big, hairy, overgrown buffoon. Uh, you may be a millionaire, and uh, I'm richer than you. Boy, that little weasel Beckman's tougher than he looks. Ow! Mary, this is a new vendor we hired to sell clack hot dogs. Reporting for duty. Great to be here. Where am I? Premier Harcourt, do you have any experience with hot dogs? Uh, well, yes, my friend. As you know, I've uh, spent uh, many years working with uh, Glenn Clark and Mosahota in the house. Mm. I gotta say one thing to you, bald man. Why can't you get this straight? I ordered a hot dog with relish. Instead, you gave me a hot dog with mustard. You got all my hot dog orders wrong. You should be dismissed. Uh, well, that won't happen because I belong to the uh, hot dog uh, union and uh, we can't uh, be fired. That's it. Okay, Premier Klein, sign the mini barbell, please. Oh, boy, uh, that's a hefty one. Hello, my friend, uh, Premier Mike Harcourt. Uh, what am I doing here? Well, this conference in China was worthwhile, but uh, the mini bars in the rooms were sorely lacking in stock. I had to telephone down many times to have them refilled, and that's not good enough. Well, the conference was fine. But, you know, Ralph Klein was always draining the mini bars, and that's not good because, you see, China uh, just doesn't have the supply. Well, give me a home the... Uh... Conservative Rome, uh, where the beer's on tap every day, where uh, uh, seldom is heard, a discouraging word, uh, would take other health care away. And that's the national anthem of Alberta, yada yada. There we are! More funny stuff coming up! Okay, Bob, so what do you think was the biggest story of 1994? Well, no NHL season. I mean, the owners just couldn't afford to pay those high player salaries right. because their hands were tied. Yeah. Except for Bruce McNall's, his hands were cuffed. <laughs> That's right. Cuffed. But the good news is he will be allowed conjugal visits from Wayne Gretzky. Oh, yes. He's happy about that. Sure. Another thing about 1994, tons of books about the royal family. Yeah. And it's not ending. 1995, even more. For example, I know Prince Philip has written a book. It's called Save the Wildlife. For me. <laughs> and then there's another book about the Queen Mum, and it's called My Fling with George Burns. Oh, boy. It's a quick read, you know. I'll bet. Yeah. You know what I'm waiting for? I'm waiting for What the Corgis Saw. Ooh. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. Nice! Mm. Choose any one you like, ma'am. Oh, well, I, I really like the one with the big drum. You mean Fred? Yeah. It's Edward, isn't it? Um, I'm looking for a partner to take to the big Commonwealth dance tonight. Uh, um, well, um, come on, actually, pick um, me, Edward. Come on. Um, oh, what about um, these oh, three over oh. here? Oh, yeah. Rather attractive. Yeah, um, yeah, oh, but I can't take all three of you to the dance. Oh, oh, but we, we all go yeah. together. Oh yeah, no, like... no, no, no. I, I thank you anyway. But um, how about uh, you over here? No, too short. Damn! I should have phoned the party line. Look, Prince Philip hasn't got any pants on. Oh. Oh, you Prince Philip! And as part of an old royal tradition, the queen marries a man from the country she's visiting 
making 135 husbands to date. Here's a stick. Thanks a lot. Now fetch. Oh. <laughs> I do this all the time with the corgis. It's great fun. Yeah. Come on. Uh, Come on. Oh. Over you go. Okay. Uh, uh, you know what she's talking about? No. Anybody know where we're supposed to go? No. And, uh... Why don't we go around this corner and sell it to this guy? Oh, yeah. Hi. Hi. You uh, want a stick? Oh, yes, please. Sell it to him. He, he likes to pick up sticks. Thank you so very, very, very much. Oh, hello, my friends. Uh, Premier uh, Mike Harcourt here in the whale suit. Uh, hello? Where am I? Okay, uh, we need only the smartest soldiers to uh, for the attack on the deficit, so uh, I would like to give them a little quiz. All right, sir, I'll line them up. Okay, uh, soldier, uh, first question, uh, how big is the deficit? Forty-three billion, sir. That's right. That's good. Good answer. Yeah. How about this soldier uh, here? So you wanna talk? Uh, okay. All right, this guy here? Nah. Uh, no. How about this fella here? You nah. want to talk? No. Uh, next fella, uh, next nah. to you. No. How about the guy in the end? No. Oh, he'll be all right. Okay, uh, this guy will do. Ready for the deficit fighting quiz, sir. Okay, uh, give me uh, the seven dwarfs' names. Well, there's uh, Grumpy, Sneezy, Bashful. Um, That's three. What about the other? Uh, dopey. Okay, there's three left. Uh, Doc. That's right. But what about Goofy? You forgot about Goofy. He's not a dwarf, sir. That's right. Okay. Uh, who's next? Uh, this guy. Uh, what's your name, soldier? Jones, sir. Ready for the question? I am, sir. Okay, in Star Wars, who was R2-D2 sidekick? Uh, C-3PO? President Clinton, welcome to the Asia-Pacific Joke Tellers Club. Oh, I hope you have a good joke to tell us. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> okay, how do you change a Democrat into a Republican? Well, change a Democrat into a Republican, you hold an election. <laughs> That's the end of my joke. Thanks. <laughs> I've been busy since I retired, and the thing I enjoy most is having my fingers locked together like this, you see. And I communicate with aliens in outer space, and they send me buckets of cash in large denominations, but, uh, yeah. but I don't do the finger link for just anybody, just Tories. Hey, Mr. Charade, do you know where you're sitting yet? Oh, uh, now that we're down to just two members, I don't know where we're nope. supposed to sit, you know. No room here. Oh, thanks. I think we're sitting uh, over there. Oh, no, you've got a closet down the hall. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, the environment minister knows that she's breaking the rules that say no plaid allowed in the house. I resent the member's remark, Mr. Speaker, because this suit is on top of the fashion scene. Everyone is wearing this suit in Paris. It's proper, won't show spilled food, and it is environmentally safe, Mr. Speaker, because as the member knows, this suit is manufactured entirely from recycled tires. You know, Mr. Speaker, I might write letters to the CRTC, but I don't wear plaid in the house. Mr. Speaker, what's the problem with plaid? Every well-pressed woman wear it, you know. I'm even wearing plaid underwear. So if Sheila wants to wear plaid, well, I don't care. Boys, it's all over. I don't want to talk about plaid anymore. It was a tempest in a teepee. It's all over, okay? Hi, Mr. Prime Minister. Bye-bye. Uh, will plaid affect the Quebec referendum? Uh, Prime Minister, what about the plaid and the NAFTA agreement? Sir? Uh, will that any change, sir? Prime Minister? Uh, Prime Minister? Well, it's time for a... Uh, come on. Yes. Hey, we hope that you're uh, enjoying Double Exposure's swift kick in the year end. It's our wild, wacky, wacky look at the past bar. year. Yeah, we're having yep. lots of fun. And now, here's some good news from 1994. Give it to they me. They managed to cut cigarette smuggling. Right. And they did that by cutting the taxes on the cigarettes. Yes, but you know, the bad news was the government had to retrain 10,000 cigarette smugglers. Oh, yeah. Well, what they did was they made them theater ushers because they were so good with flashlights. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you know, the Windsor, Ontario Casino, it raked in big bucks in 1994. Yeah. But not Vancouver. No, they turned down the waterfront casino. You see, the people said... What did they say, Bob? Well, they said since they elected the NDP in 1991, they learned that gambling doesn't pay. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Well, not everybody's immune from gambling. You know, even Britain's prime minister tried to get lucky. Mm. Hello, Mabel. Your oh, yep. usual box of condoms, prime minister. Oh, not today, thanks. No, just to fill out the lottery. If I could only win, I wouldn't have to be prime minister. Lucky numbers, lucky numbers, that's what I need. There we go. Well, I've started a new party, um, but there's so much to pay for, like paper and buttons, so I've uh, had to take a job as an elevator operator to make ends meet. Your floor. 
I sure appreciate you boys running with me. Because we're all that's left of the Democratic Party after that terrible election. Mr. President, where are we going? Well, we're going to find a Burger King, and then we're getting out of town. Because those Republicans are real scary. Come on. Well, you know, General, if we are going to attack the deficit, we will need to blow apart the CDC, and that would take some heavy weapons. Well, these armored vehicles should do the job, and they're big, too. Look at this, sir. Hello? Oh, boy. And if you come around here, Commander Kretchen, we got our secret weapon. It's a combination dipstick and anti-CBC hey, uh, device. Yeah. You want to try it out, sir? Go on. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> hey, huh? Yeah, I like uh, that. That should work well against the CBC, yeah. <laughs> Oh, look, somebody spit in my helmet. I can wear that. Oh, uh, yeah, the guys are always joking like that. <laughs> okay. Well, let's roll. Let's attack the deficit. Yes, sir. Uh, let's attack the, uh, the de... Uh-oh. What, what is it? We're out of gas. Oh, boy. Give it up for the hammer. Hammer Camel with his big head wrapping the government. Listen to the hammer, because I'm the chosen one to fight, fight, fight the government. They'll find that this ain't no fun, y'all. One more time. Listen to the hammer, because I'm the chosen one. To fight, fight, fight the government. They'll find that this ain't no fun, y'all. Now, we just want to remind you that the words you heard the politicians say on our program tonight yes. were the actual words they spoke. That's right, they That's were right. the actual words. If you saw the same stories in newscasts, well, that audio was altered to make the politicians look That's good. That's right. right, and it sure works, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it sure did. Well, I can't believe how quickly this half hour has flown by. Oh, well, it always flies by like this, Linda, when we're having fun. And we have had such great fun with all the newsmakers I of know, 1994. I know, I know. That's right. And hey, you kids, don't try this at home because this was done by professionals. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, And if you you're bet. looking for a New Year's resolution for 1995, how about tuning in every Saturday morning at 11.33 to CBC Radio to hear... Double, Double exposure. exposure. I'm Bob Robertson with Linda Cullen. Thank you so much for watching a swift kick in the year end. And we wish you good health and lots of laughs for 1995. Happy, Happy New, New Year, year everybody. everybody. We had a little fun today. We glued Ralph's lips together. Oh, well, <laughs> a bunch well. of us got together, you see, and we went over and uh, we grabbed Ralph and we did it. The thing I enjoy most is having my fingers locked together like this, you see. Mr. Speaker, will you remove now this planet rotating on my chest? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Oh, look, somebody spit in my helmet. I can't wear that. Premier uh, Mike Parkford here in the whale suit. Uh, hello? Where am I? Choose anyone you like, ma'am. Oh, well, I, I really like the one with the big drum. You mean Fred? Yes. Mabel? Yo, your usual box of condoms, Prime Minister. Oh, not today. You see, the problem was, I didn't even know I was nominated, and then we won the election, and I became the Premier, and all I can tell you is it's been a real pain in the butt. All I can say from uh, my point of view is, I would much rather be a poinsettia. This is the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation.